Ooh, all right, yeah, another beautiful day. My Japanese maple is coming in pretty nicely. Oh, oh, it feels weird to get back down here. All right, the last video left off. Got that guy finally on there. And that dude's on there. So today is going to be button it up, get it on the ground, and uh, test drive it, I guess. Run around the block a couple times. Um, yeah. All right, so what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Um, I'm going to pump the brakes a couple times, make sure those are nice and flat. Go through and do a uh, soft tightening down of everything down here. Um, make sure that my these guys right here get nice and tight because those aren't tight at all. Uh, yeah, basically just get some stuff pretty tight, throw some tires on there. And then, um, yeah, get under there and tighten it down even further. Something, something. All right, let's get this started. Pump the brakes, so went right to the ground after about five or six pumps. Started to feel pretty good. Feeling good right now, so I'm gonna check it out. Let's make sure there isn't any leaks or nothing coming. Of course, I have no light on it, so I couldn't tell if there was. <laughs> Driver's side appears to be pretty dry. Nothing crazy. My amount did go down dramatically. Fuck, I hope there's some still in there. <laughs> Either that or it's totally full. Full or empty? What do you think? Full or empty? Full or empty? Please be full. Oh, thank God it's full. <laughs> Last thing I wanted to do was pull this thing off and re-bleed the master cylinder. Fuck. Alright, side. Passenger side. Nothing there. I'm using the camera to tell. Ain't nothing there. Doesn't look like it leaked at all over the night. It's pretty good and dry. Feels good. Oh yeah, that definitely got solider. That definitely got solider. I feel those are loaded now. <laughs> At least that side's loaded for sure. This side doesn't feel like there's that much resistance yet. Looks like the pistons have come out. I'm not sure if you can see it. But they definitely came out. So that's good. This side seems to rotate a little smoother than the other side. But I believe that to just be initial pad. Initial pad. Rubbage. whatnot. Alright, so I'm pretty good. Uh, I might try and bleed these again real quick just to see what happens now they're all pumped up. Oh yeah, we bubbling. Yeah, we bubbling. This might take longer than I thought. Alright, quit seeing air after about... 45 30 seconds. I'm going to switch to the other side, do the same thing. All right, so a couple of times now, what I've been doing is um, just pushing the brakes, pumping them up, coming out here, releasing uh, this one and the back one on both sides. And now that I've got that about three or four times, I quit getting bubbles, so then I decided to do the old slide up the two by four, which uh, works great. But I have this thing, which you can't see is in the way of it moving all the way up, but it can only go just a tiny bit farther, so. Uh, yeah, what I was talking about was that switch. <laughs> so now I'm gonna move the chair back, push it forward, and then we'll do some bubbling. All right, so, I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see this. I can't get the fucking light to work. Not at all. All right, that's a little easier to see. So, uh, by the way, the bottom one here, yeah, that's a nine millimeter. The top one I'm using a quarter. I feel like you could use something else though. That quarter seems to work perfect. So let's crack these guys the other way. It's very anticlimactic. There we go. Oh, and I didn't even get it on camera. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh, Always oh, turning away at the wrong second. Let's see if I can't get this one on camera. There's no light. I don't think I need this. Camera. Eh. Nah, you can't see. 
Oh, whoa, it's just exploded all over me. All right, I gotta check my fluid levels. It's hard to do while filming by myself. All right, got these guys all nice and um, tightened down, cleaned up. Uh, I even tightened down the bottom ones just to make sure, because sometimes, you know, people in factories make mistakes. So I just double checked to make sure they're good. Everything seems to be good. Um, I think what's up next here, we're gonna top that guy off. Ah, that doesn't look too bad. It's pretty full still. I kept adding a lot. So I think what's next is uh, I'm gonna put some bolts on these guys. I still have to finish. I still have to find a bolt and finish up this dude um, where I left off. Obviously, bend this guy back. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get working on this guy now. Uh, uh, that guy. Well, it took about 45 minutes of different bolt combinations. They're either too short, or they're too fat, or they're too uh, stripped on the end to try and get any kind of any of these on there. Um, I've sh it's, this this little thing has shaken my faith in my amount of different kinds of bolts I have. So I, after doing all those, I think I had two or three that would have fit these guys. I need to up my nut game. <laughs> yeah, right. So anyways, uh, let's see if I can't. It's up there. It's in there. Uh, so now I think the only thing next to do next would be to uh, drop this guy. Put some tires on it, drop it. Um, yeah, first I think I'm going to sweep up all this nice metal shavings before I put new tires down. Alright, all cleaned up. Let's uh, throw a tire on this guy, huh? Alright, got one tire on. Looks good. Looks like we're going to have plenty of clearance as far as front and back goes. Sticks out a little bit. It's got a little bit of offset to it. Looking at it, it's pretty straight. A little bit of, a little bit inward. But we'll see what happens when I drop it. Alright, wheel number two is on. Get some ramps under there and get it tightened down. Right, so I tried to get those guys under there, but the car just won't. Obviously you can see the jack is fully extended. It's starting to get pretty sketchy. So I'm gonna have to uh, drop it and tighten them on the ground like that. Um, ugh, I really didn't want to do that just because there's so much more clearance if I can get a ramp under there, but it's literally this much. It just comes as high as I can go, it goes to that right there. So screwed on that idea, but um, yeah. So I guess I'll drop it. All right, got all four of them on there. Look pretty good. These uh, brakes up in here, oof da. That is some seriously close clearance. I don't know if you can see how well you're picking that up there, but uh, that is right fucking on it. <laughs> Probably, I don't know, I'd say quarter of an inch tops on those. But I went to grab my last tire and I looked on the ground and there's three chunks of weights sitting on the ground. It fell off three of the tires. So now when I go get them aligned, I have to have them rebalanced. So fucking sweet. So not only did they come with chunks and I don't know if I'll be able to show it. There's just a couple right off the bat, but there's a big chunk. That's a really big chunk. And there's a big chunk right up here. And there also, oh, I just noticed. There's another big chunk right there. Awesome. Fucking car ID. Here I was super cool with them. And then there's this white paste. It's all over the shit that I assume they used to put on the tires. But you know, you could fucking wipe that shit off. It doesn't need to be all over the tires. I haven't even really looked at these two yet. This doesn't look too bad. I haven't seen the inside of them. I can't really see the inside of them. But... I don't know. Alright, anyways, they're all on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish dropping this like I've been talking about for, I don't know, an hour. Oh, that's pretty. Look how high that sits. Good God. 
Alright, so, ow, my back. Wow, that's super high. <laughs> I think I have some room to uh, jack it back up and bring it down a little bit. Hmm. Huh? Okay, I don't know. Let me check the uh, let me check the front first before I go messing with it. I was just about to drop this side, and I realized I hadn't even tightened these guys down yet. As far as um, uh, just the main bolts right here, and I was messing with this, and I'm wondering like, is it supposed to pull together or is it supposed to push apart? So now I'm gonna try and figure out. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to try and figure out how this thing that I bought works. All right, I'm going with that. I'm going with uh, out and then the nut back. Pull the nut back just a little, the front nut back just a little bit from uh, on the top there. Pulled that back and measured it and then went to, uh, I guess basically what I did was pulled this back from the edge of the thing, got this as tight as I could up against that and then tightened that down. On the actual innovative mounts, they have garage built Honda's version of how he installed it as the installation instructions and he doesn't say anything about that but his do look like this is the finished product where all the thread is towards the back and the things push forward so moving along that's what i'm going to do ka -ching. yeah settle it settle it yeah. that's a that's a healthy gap that's a healthy three finger gap right there. I got room, bruh. I got room for death, bruh. Three fingers. Whoa, cramped three fingers. Ooh, two fingers. So, it would appear... Uh, actually, no. It wouldn't appear as though one side's higher than the other. My garage is slightly... My garage is slightly fucked up. Oh man, tires on the ground, slightly, uh, the wheel is slightly turned in up there. Yeah. Looking good. Alright, so I backed the car out, got everything nice and tight. Uh, and then started making this crazy rubbing, grinding noise. And I was dragging my tire. My left one, it's the right. It's a little bit of wetness here from uh, power steering fluid, brake fluid, whatever. But you can see it's definitely like, it ain't fucking wet. You can hear it. It's rubber. It's brand new rubber off of that tire. Something's going on with this thing. Jacked it up. Spun it. It's not running on anything. I get down here. Let me see if I can see my flashlight here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that felt good. You get down here, there's nothing rubbing in there. You know, the inside of the of the tire well. No big scratches. Not seeing any marks on the tire. But it's definitely making like a grinding, a very metally grinding noise that I do not like. So I'm thinking it might be this guy. Right here. Thinking that this dude is Cause this, the way this is set up, so you can see what it looks like there versus what I got it looking like over here. Can you see them? There, there, there's a bigger, there's less of a gap here than there, but they're equal strengths. So I'm thinking this guy. Maybe pulling this dude a little too hard. I read online that uh, I have to re bleed the brakes anyways. That definitely got discovered when I was backing out. Uh, I'm even gonna need my assistant for that one. But um, what I was reading online was uh, how to adjust these, um, taking the tire off and then getting the axle perfectly straight, adjusting this until the axle is perfectly straight this way. And perfectly straight that way. If it's at some kind of weird angle or whatever, then uh, you adjust it. That's the only thing I've seen online as, as to how to adjust these guys. So I'm gonna try that. All right, tires off. Um, looking at oh, we got a flashlight. The axle. 
And if you look at it, from where I'm sitting, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it looks like it's got a bit of a kink to it. Looks like it comes down and it comes over. It doesn't seem like it comes straight out. I feel like you can see it right there. Anyway, so I'm gonna try and get that guy straight. All right, so in the process of this, I discovered this scrapage. I think that's what's locking up my wheel. Thinking as it rotates, she don't like me much. Ugh, it is hard to move right this second. It's definitely doing something. Oh yeah, right there. That's where I can't move it. Ugh. So now I gotta figure out what to do. And yes, this is brake caliper. Yep, right there. That's what's doing it. I don't know if I can hold the phone in my flashlight. Oh, god damn it, I can't. And let's try and zoom in a little bit, huh? Yeah, you can see it. Oh, yeah, that's... Maybe it's rubbing. It's hitting it good. I know that it's that because I got that streak all the way around. What do you think? Take a shim out? Take a shim out. Alright, I got this guy. Pretty good. It's a little bit of a tink to it. Um, what I did was I took one shim out of the top of the bottom one Luckily, I used the uh, blue thread locker or the red thread locker the first time I was able to get uh, Some of it out of there How the hell did I do that? There's some older stuff I have but it was able to get um, It's able to get it out of there. There we go hey, This stuff the red stuff High strength, that came out pretty easy. Blue stuff seems to come out pretty easy too. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with the cap on this. Every time I pull it out, I clean it off. Anyway, it's medium strength. Whatever, I put the red shit on there and it came out anyways. Blue stuff be fine, put tons of it on there. Um, it's, I can't, I can't untighten it by hand, either one of them. But they're not cranked down either because the more i cranked them down the more resistance i got so i had to find that delicate balance to where i get that slight scratch which i don't think is the maybe i can see you know sometimes this thing turns the lights on for me and sometimes it doesn't should have see a gap there there's a gap As it scrapes, as it makes the scraping noise, it's not actually touching any of the metal stuff. I hope you're looking right here, because that's where that's supposed to be. That's where you ought to be looking. Aside from me wiggling, that's free and clear with the bracket. So I shouldn't have any more rubbing on the back. Right there you can see. Hopefully that solved my problem. I am still gonna use the guy's guide to, uh, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get that straight. And since it's a CV joint, I don't think the guy might have been working with something else. It was on Honda Tech, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust those, see what I can do with them. But as far as, as far as my grinding noise, locking up to the tire, burning rubber, I think that's been solved. All right, so now that I got these guys, Got this dude lined up and spinning for me. Now it's not. Now it doesn't want to spin for me anymore. <sighs> All right, so I guess I'll figure out what's up with that. <laughs> oh yeah, I was bleeding the brakes. I bled the brakes. That's why they're so stiff. Duh. But I still. Where's my clearance? Come on, clearance. There it is. I believe I still have. Trying to get both of them down there. This is harder than uh, it looks. 
Yeah, I'll take my word for it. I can't film a sixteenth of an inch. But it's it's got good. It's got to get good. That's the stiffest it is right there. I got clearance. I got clearance. Let's get down there towards the right. I only got gappage. That's all I care about. I can deal with uh, brand new brake pads with uh, pistons. Those pistons don't really they came out very much, do they? Ah, sorry, I got you. All right, anyways, bleed. Or uh, I did bleed that side. I'm gonna bleed this side now. All right, so I just rebled this side. Um, didn't really have a lot of air bubbles. That side had more. Um, not a lot, but more. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, while I have the tire off again, I was noticing my gappage. I decided that I would pull out, I don't know where I set them, my uh, coilover tools, my little cratchets, so that I can get to working on that. I don't know where I set them down. Yeah, I thought I had them. They were over here. They're here somewhere. Under me? No. Nope. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and lower this guy and then lower the back one. Uh, I have such a soft pedal moving in and out of the driveway here that uh, I feel like I should bleed the back ones just because uh, these guys didn't have a lot of air in them. So I might have to redo the whole thing, but not a big deal. Uh, for right this second, um, yeah, I think I want to lower this coilover. All right, so I brought this guy down five full rotations. I'm measuring it off the... Uh, Oh, you can see where I'm measuring it off of. You're coming off of this guy onto here. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is just for like anal retentiveness so that I can um, be exact on all sides and see where that gets me. It sets me at uh, 64. Even. 64. So that should be pretty easy. Pretty easy to remember. Um, so now I'm just gonna do tighten this guy down and then do the other side. I don't know if you've ever seen how these are done, but you got two here one longer, one holder. One goes into that hole right there and holds it still, while the other one grabs onto these uh, things like this and then just spins it. You can either spin it this way or spin it the other way. It's not very tight, so I don't want to spin it right now, but yeah, one holds the bottom and one spins the thing. So I'm gonna tighten this guy down and get to the other side. All right, well, obviously I'm out and about. Whenever uh, whenever I do something to my car, I like to drive through uh, the rich neighborhood. This is where the fucking mayor lives. It's a bunch of windy, tree, bullshitty, nice fucking houses. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I get to ride through their neighborhood and make a bunch of shitty noise. It's really hard to film and steer with this alignment issue in a manual car. So, all right, getting back home. I think the only problem I have right now is the exhaust noise and the alignment. Other than that, it seems to be doing great. Uh, I've been driving around, could use some gas, obviously. Driving around, check out that idle. So I think the only thing that's left here is uh, this mount. I went ahead and ordered it. Uh, should be here, ordered it second day. It's coming soon. I gotta get these guys squared away. Gotta get the muffler. Um, that's coming in. I already got that coming. And it looks like I'm leaking oil out of this gasket down here, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, yeah, um, tomorrow I wanna pull these guys off. Cause I was going like 40 for quite a while. Uh, up and down the main drag there. Did some poles up some hills and stuff like that. So nothing crazy because I don't want to, you know, breaking it in and whatnot. But I definitely uh, want to pull this guy off, double check, even run a little endoscope down into these guys into the pistons and see. Make sure there isn't just a bunch of coolant sitting on top of the fucking things or something. I doubt it. Didn't have any smoking issues. Um, didn't have any... Overheating, no engine light, no check engine lights. So I think we're doing pretty good. Just got a couple things here. The mount, get these guys, the alignment. Get the uh, muffler gasket on there and should be doing pretty good. Figure more out tomorrow, but 
Yeah, so for tonight, I'm, I'm done.